Countries have troubled with the rise of global warming in the past several years due to burning of fossil fuels, pollution, gases, etc. If the situation prevails, the environment may completely be destroyed and can make the survival hardest for the living beings. So many companies around the globe have come up with a solution to reduce the carbon footprints and go natural. One such solution is to manufacture a solar product and make use of them. And here comes the rise and demand of solar water heater. Hello all, welcome to the official YouTube channel of SolarClue.com. Today we are going to discuss on a very important topic about the best solar water heater in India. Since there are n number of manufacturers of solar water heater, it may get confusing which brand to choose and which is the finest among all. If you guys are confused, then this video is for you. Keep on watching to know which is the best solar water heater and how we select them. So if you have not subscribed to the channel till now, please do it for more such awesome content on solar industry. Saying a particular brand is best will be wrong because a particular brand can have products which are low quality, average quality and high quality. So we don't have to choose the brand. We have to choose products that are best. If we define best in one word, then the product which lasts longer, approximately more than 15 years, is the best. A solar water heater is majorly divided into three components. Those are tank, stand and the collector. Stand and collector of all the brands are almost the same. So there is no differentiation factor. You cannot compare two brands on the basis of stand and tank. The only differentiation factor is your tank a general solar water heater tank consists of outer tank middle tank and the inner tank wherein the outer tank is for the protection from the outer atmosphere the middle tank provides you insulation which means it when the water gets hotted or heated it hold your the hotness of water for one to two days also the inner tank is the most Im important one that holds the water. So when we compare from brand to brand, outer tank and middle tank doesn't make any difference. But all innovations happens on the inner tank. That is the reason it makes the biggest difference. So we are going to uh, discuss about inner tank. The inner tank and the protection on inner tank define the quality of the solar water heater actually. So these are the key points that define the quality of a solar water heater. Material of inner tank, thickness of inner tank, what is the extra protection given on the solar water heater so that it can fight your water hardness, warranty, how much warranty a company is offering you and at the end what is the service in your area or in your city. The first point is tank material. Tank material is the most important part as we have already discussed it holds the water for years and years so the material needs to be very strong the tank material is categorized into five types and it has been ranked on from the lowest quality to the highest quality the stainless steel 304 is considered to be the lowest quality and the copper tank is considered to be highest quality 80 percent of the companies use stainless steel 304 companies like v guard anu solar supreme solar new tech ashirwad and so on the list is endless companies like record uses stainless steel 316 nowadays coming companies are coming up with the galvanized iron hot dip galvanized iron and copper tanks hot dip galvanized iron and copper tanks are very rare and it is higher price also they are no doubt have the best quality but as compared to the price their prices shoots very high so, so summarizing the tank, galvanized iron makes the best choice in terms of quality and less cost. cost. The second point we will discuss is the thickness. So it is good to know that more the thickness of the solar water heater, the solar water heater will last for longer number of years. In a ETC type of uh, model, companies offer you 0.4 mm to 1.6 mm thickness. The quality of the tank is low if the company is offering you 0 0.0 mm thickness. So that means higher the thickness, higher the quality. In, in a flat plate collector, companies usually give you 1.2 mm thickness to 4 mm thickness. So here also the same logic, 
higher the thickness of the inner tank higher the quality the third point which we are going to discuss is the extra protection there is a lot of salt in the water the water hardness increases and the salt will try to to stick inside your inner tank everywhere which leads to the corrosion so actually what happens when you connect your source and you insert water inside your tank the tank the salt will be coming along with your water and it will try to stick everywhere inside your tank year by year layer and layer of salt will be accumulating and one fine year you you will see there is a corrosion and the water will start leaking so we uh, the company generally uses two method first method is sacrificial anode rod method so this is a kind of rod which is placed inside your inner tank this rod is going to help the solar water heater run for a longer number of years when the salt water goes inside the salt will try to stick on the rod before and not on the tank because of this corrosion will happen on the rod and not on the tank so that is why this is known as sacrificial rod because it sacrifices itself to save your tank you can replace the rod for every 3 to 4 years if you have a water hardness high problem and if you are living in a good water area then there is no need to change the rod in india you will see companies like vigard madanta inventions rakul using this kinds of method the second method which nowadays coming more into picture is the coating the inner tank with some material so sometimes a company coat it with glass coating ceramic coating blue coating many types of coating has come into picture nowadays the logic is when the salt enters the tank it will try to stick on the coating but it won't be able to because the coating is slippery and the salt will slip due to slipping feature it will delay the corrosion also these are insulators and non metallic so corrosion only happens on metal so the coating will save your tank the fourth point is is the actually the summary of top 3 points what is the water hardness handling capacity so this is just this is a number by looking at the number also you can uh, fix this product is for me so every company offers uh, and they mention in their product what is the water hardness handling capacity and it ranges between 3000 generally to 2000 ppm sorry 300 ppm to 2000 ppm ppm is actually particles per million the more the ppm it can handle the better it is presence of glass coating can handle more than 1000 ppm ceramic coating can handle up to 1000 ppm and anode rod can handle only between 600 ppm to 1000 ppm so if the thickness of the protection is low then hand then it handles less ppm and vice versa for example vigard and rakul both uses rods but the thickness of rod differs so the vigard can handle 600 ppm whereas rakul can handle 1000 ppm the fifth point is warranty warranty depends on model to model so if you look at the etc model then you will be getting 5 to 10 years of warranty whereas when you look at the fpc model then you will be getting 1 year to 5 year warranty on the system the last but not the least sixth point is service so if you see a product on our portal on solarclue.com and if the product is available at your location that, that then that means the service is good in that location that is why it is present in solarclue.com website you can also visit to solarclue.com and choose your product based on your requirement so for pressurized model it is very simple only two things you have to uh, see in a product the warranty and the pressure handling capacity warranty we have already discussed pressure handling capacity uh, the pressurized solar water heater are meant to handle pressure since the water will be coming from a pressure pump or booster pump the water heater needs to handle that pressure the tank needs to handle that pressure generally a water heater can handle from 3 bar to 8 bar pressure companies like rakold anu vigard can handle 8 bar pressure while companies like supreme can handle 3 bar solarizer 6 bar kamal 6 bar so the more the pressure a product can handle 
that means it have a higher thickness of the tank that means the quality of the product is good so when you choose a pressurized solar water heater see warranty and pressure handling capacity only now we are concluding our uh, our video the summary is we have seen all the aspects of solar water heater internally if the tank is made up of good material the thickness is more along with a good protection then your tank is going to handle high water hardness and if it can handle high water hardness the solar water heater will last for longer even beyond 15 years